Hey, 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 y'all. This is Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and thank you for coming and hanging out with me yet again, checking out another one of my Vlogmases. And today we're going to do something really cool, but I'm answering a question or a request that came in. Um, at the end of all my Vlogmases, you see Bradley Teaches looks like it's written out, right, as an animation. Number one, yes, that is a keynote animation. And today I'm going to show you how I did it and add another little extra technique that you can use to reveal some text. So let's jump into Keynote and make that happen, y'all. All right, so here we are in Keynote, new presentation. Click, drag, delete. Okay, so today I'm gonna do this kind of a little Vlogmas style instead of a whole line of text, but you'll be able to learn the technique, right? So let's start off with our text, and I'm gonna do VM for Vlogmas. And let's kick that up to about 400 or 450, 450 points. And I'm going to use an icon that I use on that little bug that I did before of that little camera iris. So we're going to use that and let's make that big, about the same size as the text, right? And I'm going to change the color of that to red for now. Okay, so for this VM or whatever text you're using, you want to use a text that looks handwritten or uh, kind of a scripty font, right? Now, this is pretty much the only time that I would say use a script font for anything with your video. If you're using it really big as a title or something that's going to fill a lot of the screen, by all means, use a script font or some kind of fancy crazy font but when you're making lower thirds or sidebars or bugs I suggest you do not use a script font because at the sizes that it's going to have to be at to be those things they're just too hard to read but for this this is a great opportunity to use a script font or kind of more crazy like font and let's do that here so I'm going to pick black diamond for mine so we have the VM for vlogmas and we have the camera icon right so all we're going to do now is basically trace these letters like we're writing the letters, right? So we have the V, then we have the M, right? So we're going to trace them like we're writing them. All right, so we're going to go to the shape palette and we're going to use the pen tool, which is in the top right hand corner of the shape drop down. Then we're basically just going to draw the letters or trace the letters. And I'm using a lot of click points. You don't really have to do that, but you want to stay close to the middle of the letter and even go outside the letter. And when you're done with each line, we're going to double click to end that line. So we have the V done now, right? So let's do the M. Now, obviously some letters are more complicated than others, but the technique still applies, right? As long as you trace them, kind of like you are writing the letters. So you want to trace them as if you're writing the letters. And at the end of the line, again, we're going to double click to end that line. Then finally, for our camera icon, we're going to use a whole different technique. We're just going to zigzag back and forth across it. Pretty tight zigzags, though. You don't want to have really wide zigzags, and you'll know why in a second. We're going to kind of zigzag back and forth it can have a little angle to it. It don't have to necessarily be straight up and down every time. It can kind of flare out and things like that. Not that big a deal. Right? You can even start to turn it a little bit. We want to go back and forth across the icon. And this can be done with text or anything else, right? And at the end, we're going to double click again. So now we're going to go to our object list. And we're going to click these three line shapes, holding down shift, click. And we're going to go over here to our format style palette. And we're going to kick these lines up to about 60 points. Right. What you want to do is make the line so thick that it covers the entire letter or the entire word or the entire icon. You don't want to be able to see any sliver of whatever that other thing was. Right. And now for the uh, just for the sake of showing you how the animation works, we're going to make the background of this slide. We're going to make it gold for now. All right. Because I want you to see how the lines actually work. All right. So now, I mean, we're 90 percent way done now. So we're going to go back over to our 
object list and we're going to shift click those three lines and we're going to go to animate build out and we're going to do line draw and as you see here the three things are revealed through tracing or through scribble that's that other method I wanted to tell you about right so now one other thing that I like to do is I like to go to the object list and identify each line or object in the object list and you'll see why in a second because over here in your build order list you want to know that you're dealing with the right letter or right thing when you're doing your animation because otherwise it's be called line 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 right and it's harder to identify so let's drag each thing into the one above it now for the V we're gonna have it start after the anime after transition or after the animation starts we're gonna give it a two second delay on that right then the M comes in after the V and the camera comes in after that so now we can kind of adjust those speeds to make them look more fluid and natural and so we'll knock this down to 0.8 we want to leave on ease in ease out because it just looks more natural like those things are being written right so the M we're gonna speed that up too and then the camera we can kind of leave that at two seconds so now let's preview it again so the V M there you go and we scribble out the end so now <clears throat> let's go to the slide itself click off of everything go back to format and we're gonna make the slide black not transparent we're gonna make it black and as you see here we see little slivers of some of the letter coming through right so let's just click that line the M and we just make it a little bit thicker right we want the letter to disappear there we go let's preview it again And there we go, right? All right, so now what I also want to do is make the VM white so it stands off the background more. So format, text, make it white. And now we're done. We are done. Now this is a solid, solid background animation movie. It's not going to be a transparent background because we don't want those big bulky lines to show, right? The slide color and the line color are basically disguising it and it reveals the elements as if you are writing those elements or scribbling or scratching out the space that that element is in. So those are two different techniques you can use to reveal logos, to reveal text, to reveal pictures. And so it's a pretty cool technique. Now you can do the scribble technique to reveal text also, right? And it's just a cooler way of doing that transition versus using the basic wipe. So there's different ways you can do it, but you have to remember these are going to be solid movies. They can't be transparent movies. So it has to be solid background videos. So file, export, movie, zero, zero. Apple ProRes is fine. Even though we're saving an Apple ProRes, it won't be transparent because we're using black as the background color, not transparency. So it'll be good. And we'll call this VM export. All right, so let's go to our main screen over here. And here we are. And you'll see it animated in VM for Vlogmas and the camera lens, right? So there we go. All right. Again, I am Bradley Vincent, Alana's Pawpaw, y'all. Be blessed, be free. I hope this was helpful and will give you some creative ideas to kind of reveal your text and icons and logos. So until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to one another, and I'll see you on the next Vlogmas. Have a good one. Bye-bye.